Today we have a very classic Chris Chan video here. We're looking at uh, this video. God, man, this stuff touches my heart, man. Chris Chan's been through a lot. Chris Chan's been through a, a hell of a lot. Thank you to you guys who send me these messages and you say, Hey, I love your perspective on Chris Chan. There's been a few of you now, so thank you for that. You say, hey, you have such a nice perspective on him. It's so refreshing. And and I just, I like to see people succeed. I don't like to see people belittled and harassed. And, and I don't like to see that kind of stuff. And Chris Chan's been through a lot of that. A lot of that. Let's just get started, shall we? Let's just get started here. We need to build each other up. We need to be family. We need to build each other up, baby. Build each other's castles. Don't knock people's castles down. Build the castles. That's the way to do it. Treat people right and people will love you. That's that's all there is to life. Treat people right. What do we have here? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and dudes of all teenagers, as well as the... Uh, dudes of all teenagers. That is, that's like a legendary quote from this. Gals. My name is Christian Chandler. I am here and y'all are there. It's true, this message babe. is for everyone of the present and the future beyond this date. February 24th, 2007. My birthday. My 25th birthday. I am high-functioning autistic, and in my 25 years, I have seen and learned so much. And today, I shared, intended to share some wise words that I hope each and every one... One thing that I find fascinating about Chris Chan is the love that he has for doing these videos. He's done so many of these videos. I've done so many videos too. There's something about, it's like a journal is what it is. It's a journal, it's a video journal. You're doing a physical recording, expressing your thoughts and feelings and emotions, and then you put it online because you wanna share it with other people. You just, uh, you just hope it's the right people. You always hope it's the right people. That's something I love about Christian. It's also something I love about Terry Davis. Terry Davis, some of you guys know who Terry Davis is. Terry Davis, I love Terry Davis. Let's keep rolling here. You will take to heart and allow for yourself and everyone else a better prior future. First off, remember that going to school is not a torture, it is a place of learning, a place for growing, a place where you form the spelling of your own opinions, your own feelings, True. and your own personality. Now for anyone who doesn't know, Christian actually says that, um, that high school were some of the best years of his life, if I remember correctly. He said that uh, high school was some of the best years of his life. So, interesting, right? So learn everything you are able to and grow with it. Now, you should also be able to try something for yourself before forming praise or detest of it. As long as those things will not harm you or shorten your lifetime in any way, it's totally cool. What is totally not cool though, is thinking or doing these things which are very harmful to you and definitely gro will gross out those around you that don't do it because I haven't done it and I don't like it doing either of them. I also want to point out that this presentation, it's a presentation. You can see he's looking at, he's giving a speech. He's looking at his notes, looking at the camera, looking, and that is, um, that's good. I mean, most people, most people don't really do things like this. That's good. It's unique. It's good when you record yourself giving a presentation. It's presentation skills. Everyone wants to undermine all these things about Chris Chan. Just don't undermine them. Give credit where it's due, baby. Give credit where it's due. If you want to make someone feel good, you got to build them up. Don't knock them down. Build them up, baby. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. You should avoid at all costs smoking, drinking alcohol, and intaking similar icky, dangerous stuff. And smoking will eventually cause cancer, and it will you'll be more likely to get heart attack, viruses, and your life will be cut drastically short. They don't call cigarettes and cigars death sticks from not turning. And that reminds me of the love signs that he had for the boyfriend free girl. One of his requirements was that she couldn't smoke. He also said she, he doesn't want her to drink. I think he said uh, non-alcoholic or alcohol free, drug free, smoke free girl. And um, that's something that Chris Chan, I'll tell you, when I was in my younger years and I was looking for a girlfriend, it was one of my one of my requirements I set up too. is I said, I don't want someone who drinks because I never drank. Had a few girlfriends that did, they always ended up getting drunk and doing things that, well, Old Bay Shaman wasn't too happy about. Right? Some of you can relate. 
When you're a youngster out there trying to find a significant other who doesn't drink, it's difficult. It's difficult. Of course, my reasons went much deeper than that I had for uh, alcohol. Is, I just, yeah. But, uh, but it's difficult. I know it's difficult. You're on a dating site looking for a girlfriend and everybody you find, they all say they drink. And I'm not saying no, don't drink. I'm not saying it's wrong of you to drink. But when you yourself don't drink and you don't like alcohol and you don't want it in your life, you want to find someone you can relate to like that. And when you finally do, it's amazing. It's amazing when you finally do. I love, I love my girlfriend. I love her. Other than killing you slowly. If I could, I would take every last ounce of tobacco, put him on a rocket, and shoot him up to the moon. Uh, and for uh, the alcohol, right there. they'll cause uh, liver dysfunction, kidney prop, kidney failures, and uh, not only that, but when you get drunk enough, bar fights and automobile accidents. So it's yeah. a real slow. Alcohol does lead to lots of uh, lots. It can lead to a lot of issues when you're in that type of environment. I consider certain environments to be toxic. If you're hanging out in bars where everybody's getting drunk and all this, going to all these places, I mean. It's a it's toxic environment. Bad things can end up happening to you. Bad things can end up happening. Uh, yeah, that's true, Chris. Chris has some good points, man. You gotta give it to Chris. Chris has some good points, baby. I ain't kidding, pretty. Please don't be offended. I mean, what are you saying? I shouldn't do this. Just don't be offended. Just roll with the flow. Acting poison. And I haven't done either one. And look at me now, I'm like... Found it, brother. Middle, and I'm living 25, hoping to live on to be about 80 to 100. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, y'all will get a chance to get up to that ripe old age as well. Hell yeah, brother. Now, Ho among hopefully. the fair things you should definitely try before despising is some of the hobbies of those of your own opposite gender. Like, uh, for example, if you're a young gentleman, I recommend buying yourself a My Little Pony figure of your favorite color or whatever. Now this right here, I wonder if it's an experimental type thing. I like experimental things. If I was more experimental myself, I would experiment with things. Um, probably not that, but obviously I like to experiment with things. Um, probably wouldn't get a My Little Pony figure, but I would do experimental things. I've done some things. Some of you guys know about the crazy things I've done. Um, but I can respect that though. I can respect that. When a man says, you should try this. And he pulls out a My Little Pony figure. That's experimental. I like that. If you've ever heard of, is his name F uh, Frank? Uh, Frank. He's a bodybuilder and he does some really experimental things. It's, it's Frank. His last name escapes me now. I made myself look dumb. Now, uh, stroking the hair of said pony. He's a legend very though. very relaxing and therapeutic. And also rubbing it against your cheek. That's nice. And also, I like how he just whipped uh, it out. That, uh, the pony is uh, that girl you want to take you want to take out to. You want to take out sometime and talk to the pony like you would talk to the girl. Hmm. Hmm. Now for the uh, ladies, I recommend a good old Autobot from Transformers. Oh, cool. Because you can get to learn how to examine the mechanics and variations of each and every, I mean, of the uh, autobot you have, like uh, you would try, like you would learn how a man works, and it'll allow you to feel more comfortable in approaching and talking to that boy you've been flirting from a distance, or uh, just been uh, flirting with from a distance, and uh, hopefully uh, all, you, all you have to do is just end up and say hello. I believe that it's an association type thing here. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Shh, shh, shh. Hear me out. I believe that it's an association thing saying this is a girl's toy. So, guys, you should try playing with it because it can help you feel more comfortable when you're talking with girls. Likewise, girls, try playing with these um, Transformers toys because you're going to gain the feeling of the boy. See, the boys play with Transformers. So if the girls play with Transformers, they may feel more comfortable talking to the boy because they have the experience that the opposite gender has the experience of. Don't, don't say, Bisham, what are you talking about? Because I know you know what I'm saying right now. I know you know what I'm saying to you. Like you can understand them better by experiencing what they experience. That's deep. That's profound. Don't let this pass you by. Don't let this pass you by. 
You're not going to get this in school. All right? You're not going to get it on the streets either. Only here on Starship Lockjaw. And kidding, baby. Cha. Hello. I mean, it's not so hard. All you have to do is say hello to the man ladies, that's all. And everything will just keep going from there. Okay. And also, uh, with the uh, Autobots, watch the vehicle. Well, you can, you can drive down that imaginary fast lane. But in, in any case, uh, while few people may ridicule you, you should not worry about it. If you, if, because most everybody will be all, totally okay with it. Because they, it won't matter. It won't matter because they see you enjoying it, and that's totally cool if you're enjoying it. So right there, it sounds like Chris Chan's basically saying that most people out there are okay people. They're not going to have anything against you playing with a certain toy if you want to. So he sounds like he has the mentality of most people out there are good. I want to know if that mentality is still there. I think that's a good mentality for us to have. Because if we think that most people out there are bad, it makes us feel isolated. It makes us feel isolated in a bad way. Like the entire world is full of nothing but these horrible, dangerous, evil-parted people. And we're all alone in it. Struggling to survive every day. Alone. In a dark world. So you enjoy it? Just do it. Don't worry about other people's op opinions. Hell yeah, dude. Pound because, it, brother. Uh, compared to the other school, those people who disregard you are just total peanuts. And I'm not talking Charlie Brown. I'm talking about the little nuts yeah, with the shells. Gato, baby. I love this, dude. This is classic, brother. Classic, oh, folks. That classic. peanuts. Classic, folks. Uh, so keep in mind that while you're playing with these things, you should keep in mind of what your true original gender is. Because uh, it's like you're learning about that girl you want to take on a date, young man. Or uh, likewise, you feel more comfortable to approach that boy uh, just saying hello that you've been checking out from a distance, young lady. Mm -hmm. Young lady. And hopefully in due time or now, each and every one of you will stay straight. You know, girl for boy, boy for girl. Okay, so this is what a lot of people really get upset about, how Christian at one point in time, um, well, he was, he was, uh, anti, L LG, LGBT, but not anymore, though, not anymore, he, he's regret, he regrets that, uh, so he's not like that anymore. Everything else is vice, as said by Dr. Kinsey, mm -hmm. not just for me, not for the big man upstairs, not for your family. But do it for uh, yourself and for, and for the benefits of everyone in the future. Your children, your children's children. And besides, if you stray away from the straight path, it can really jeopardize the entire future of the world and the human race. Also, girls and ladies, don't just go over Gaga over to handsome rich boys and men because they may turn out to be disrespectful and distasteful in their personality. Is this a, a, a like the nice guy argument that's about to arise? We've seen in the Joseph Strickland reviews that Joseph Strickland is a strong advocate for the, the nice guy mentality of don't be with guys because they're hot. He says, uh, but Joseph Strickland takes it to the next level because he says things like, he says things like, be with the guy that's boring, be with the guy that's ugly. He said, uh, I don't think Christian's gonna actually go that deep in it, but it does sound like he may be touching on the outer, the outer rim. You should take into consideration all the other gentlemen that uh, you may have considered that may be less attractive or equally, less or moderately, because those will, because they will likely have a better personality that you will, t that you will generally enjoy and like, and they may end up having a brighter future for themselves. Like look at me now, I'm shooting this movie for a DVD. Oh, that's great. That is great. That's positive. You see that? He's like, like, look at me now. I'm shooting this for a DVD. That's positive, dude. I like that. Don't sell yourself short, baby. Don't. Too many of us sell ourselves short. And we just, we think lowly of ourselves and we have self-esteem issues and all this stuff. Don't. Don't. Raise yourself up. Believe in yourself. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Like, our entire existence, our entire everything about this consciousness, this experience, this universe, 
It all comes from within. It's all just a reflection of what we feel internally. Oh God, where's this song from? Does anybody know where this song is from? I used it on a video a while back. Yeah, girls! <laughs> Why? Why? Girls, you girls! Girls! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> Do you remember that? I'm not crazy. I did a video on it. That's got, that I hope will be shown in a uh, couple of schools at least. Video was supreme. Now, uh, also, uh... Also, when you each when each and every one of you has a true general understanding of the uh, opposite gender, and after finding that special man, ladies, or that special girl, gentlemen, gentlemen, always keep to. I feel like that's kind of a dad type thing going on, like or, or just a male figure of authority, or a teacher or something. Ladies, gentlemen, like that's. I believe that Christian would have been a. Uh, had things turned out a little bit differently, he would have been a, a great dad at some point in time. It's not even too late now. Chris Chan could one day become a great dad if he ends up having kids. Uh, and I would be happy for him. That's what I want, baby. I just love to see people succeed and get what they want. It fills me with joy when I see someone who wants something so hard, and they work for it, and they get it. I love you guys. I love people. Let's keep rolling here, baby. You, this comes from within. You gotta feel it within, then you can shoot it out. I'm telling you, your world is a reflection of what is within, baby. Everything you experience is different when you see it differently, when you experience it differently through your consciousness, through your awareness. Heaven is a place on earth, baby. You just gotta create it. You two might have in the future. Otherwise, uh, you two would just be darn happy with each other. Hell yeah, brother. But Inkin. it's not all always going to be peaches and cream or strawberry shortcakes. True. It's very true. And also remember, you two should keep each other. Because there will be nobody else. Loyalty, baby. No matter how much you think about it, nobody else that can replace that special someone. Him for her or her for him. Loyalty. This is nobody else. There's no substitute for that first one. Right, brother. You ain't kidding. And now, I leave you with the lessons that you should have, I hope you have learned from my message. You should, all, you should stay in school. Learn as you much. And try before you praise or despise. Never smoke. Never drink. Never worry about how others think of you when you do things. Hell yeah, dude. When you play with things that may not, that may not seem like you or whatever. This is good advice, dude. Don't be afraid to approach those of your opposite gender. Good. And most importantly, please stay straight. Oh, oh, brother! It's 2018, brother. You trying to you trying to have the news come after you? Come on. These views are not endorsed by Base Truman or Base Truman LLC. I leave you with those words, as I have shared with you on this my 25th birthday, February 24th, 2007. I am Christopher. Christian Weston Chandler, live long and shine on in your very own unique way. War is never the answer. Peace is. Never fight. Five finger death punch would, would disagree with you, Billy. Compliments will get you fuzzy wuzzies. War gets you prickly wicklies, as well as punches that get you those two. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Awesome, dude. That was that was good. That was really good. Uh, that was really good, you guys. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Let's do an outro. This was good, dude. Yeah. Nacho! Hey, I'll get you some nacho, baby. I ain't kidding. No, I ain't shitting, baby. Service daddy. Yeah. Service your daddy, baby. Service. Bye.